first student today we are going to learn complement of a set and its property so let's try to understand what it, does it mean the complement of a set a is the set of all element of universal set u that are not in a okay and here notation is a complement or a prime you can say this means universal set minus a okay let's go with the example and we'll try to understand this definition what this it mean so you take universal set as 1 2 3 4 5 okay and take a as your 1 2 then complement of a can be written as a prime or a complement this is c sim okay this means okay let me give you one more definition that means x such that x belongs to universal set and x does not belongs to a okay this is another way to represent this complement of a set a so here what you can see that this is your what okay we'll take here union union minus universal okay sorry universal set minus a this can be written as 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 2 that means except 1 2 whatever remained in your universal set that will be your complement of a okay this is the definition of complement of a we have properties we'll see the property the first one okay properties the first one we're going to see so we have the first one that is a uh, law of empty set and universal set so what, what is the meaning of this one that means complement of empty set will always give you universal set and complement of universal set always give you empty set this is the first one and then complement law let's see complement law so complement law means if we we'll take a set a and union with complement of it then you will get what universal set okay under this one more is there that is a intersection a complement we will all get get five why sir because there is no common element between a and a prime look at here a contain one and two and a complement contain three four five there is no common element between these two have you seen so that's why five that means empty set next law double double complement law so what does it mean that means complement of complement will always give you a if we we'll take complement of a set a and again you are taking the complement of it will always get the original one that is a okay next we are going to see the very important part that is de morgan law what the morgan law okay so let's see so for this we have two one is a union b complement equals to a complement intersection b complement and second one a intersection b whole complement will give you a complement union b complement okay sometime this symbol we can write this way also a union b complement bar a union b bar that can a bar intersection b bar and here a intersection b bar means a bar union b bar okay let's try to understand with the help of example so already we have taken universal set that is your one two three four five and a also we have taken that is 1 and 2. Now we'll, let's assume B as 
two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. So here, first we'll go this one. Okay, LHS and RHS. You can see this is your RH LH LHS. So here LHS you have that is A union B complement. So we'll take A union B. A union B means what? A union B means first we'll take A union B. See here A union B. That is one, two, three, four, and the complement of it. Complement means subtract this part okay from your universal set that means your universal set is one two three four five and a union b is what one two three four that means five so again yeah, we're going to write here five and c for rhs okay what we have that is a complement intersection b complement so we'll take a complement so here we have a I will go inside of this one because A complement means what? Universal set minus A. So, except 1 and 2, whatever element left in your universal set, that will be complement of A. So, take it here. 3, 4, 5. Intersection B complement. Okay. So, here your B is 2, 3, 4. And complement of B means what? Universal set minus B. So universal set is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And minus B. The element are what? 2, 3, 4. Except 2, 3, 4. You are getting 1 and 5. Now, intersection of these two set, you can see that there is 5 common. Have you seen? So, our answer is 5. Look at here. This is your LHS and this is your RHS. Therefore, we can say that union of A and B complement hold will get A complement intersection B complement. Similarly, we proceed for second one. Okay. Thank you.